UMass COVID-19 cases are on the rise. This after some say a portion of students living off campus are being irresponsible. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is live in Amherst with more. Lindsay. Jordan, these cases are popping up after Halloween and some students say they knew of illegal parties going on. It's certainly like due to a lot of um, irresponsible people. COVID-19 cases are on the rise at UMass Amherst, primarily in students living off campus. The timing coinciding right after Halloween. I, I've heard that there's a lot of off campus uh, parties going on, like frats and stuff like that. Between November 1st and November 9th, UMass reported a total of 77 students living off campus tested positive for the coronavirus, along with nine students living on campus. It's unfortunate. I do think some of it's because people have been, their COVID fatigue, they're tired of being, you know, socially challenged. Amherst Town Council President Lynn Griesmer tells Western Mass News that these new numbers are concerning to the town and the university, but she thinks it's a reflection of students not following the rules. I do think Halloween played a role in this. And in addition to that, the warm weather we've had, untypical for November. Sophomore Kiefer Lee tells Western Mass News he thinks it's safer to be on campus than off. I think all the students who are on campus are really safe. Like, we're forced, well, not really forced, but we're, like, coerced to, like, do two tests a week. With remote learning in place right before Thanksgiving until the start of the next semester, some students will head home, but most off-campus students are here to stay. These are students who have rentals. Some of them actually live here year round and they may not be going home or if they are, they may not be going home for the full, uh, you know, month and a half, two months until the semester starts up again in February. We have reached out to UMass officials and UMass police, but are still waiting to hear back. Live in Amherst, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.